A decade ago, LaShawn and her mother Lola joined forces to purchase this 1,600 square foot starter home. We bought this house together. She knew she always wanted to retire to a warmer climate leaving Chicago. At that time, I was pregnant with my daughter, and my son was five, so the bedrooms were enormous for a newborn and a five-year-old. What I liked most about the house was the yard and the proximity to where I work. Living with my mom has some challenges, because I have a three-bedroom house, so right now she shares the master with me. We are a close-knit family, but we don't want to be that close. As soon as my mom started sharing the master bedroom, I knew this house was not going to work for us. We make it work. The only way that master bedroom is going to work is if we get bump beds. And you know that's out of the question. We could get twin beds. They don't have to be bump. Twin well, beds. I, I could get a twin bed. This and is you getting can get worse and worse. Bed. Seriously, you need a bedroom and you want your own bedroom. In a couple of years, Jamal will be leaving for college. I could sleep in his room. Jay, Jay, it's time to get up. The kids' rooms are way too small. Jamal is 15. He's sleeping in a twin-size bed. Uh, it's time to get up. The bedroom will only accommodate a twin-size bed. Sweetie, the only solution is a larger bedroom. The only way to get a larger bedroom is to get a larger house. I can't think of one good reason to stay here. And I think that the family could really enjoy this change of moving to a bigger house that's going to work for all of us. This is where I said when I retired, that this is where I'll come. I retired. This is where I am. No, no, we decided this city was going to be home, not this house. It's time but to go. But why did we buy this house if it wasn't going to be home? It's home for a time, but not home for a lifetime. Hmm. Hmm. Looks better on the outside. Then you come in here and you see the work that needs to be done. Oh, rubbish. It's a perfectly nice sized room, although look, look at, at these that. Well, what's going on here? You've got two couches. This one was bought a year ago. This one was bought 40 years ago. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> It's lovely. I don't see any garden. I see some brown grass and some trees. I see ferns. I see a mix of foliage. It's gorgeous. It's nice. Look, lovely eating area. That's nice. Yeah, if you want to use a poker table for a dining table. Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do not start with your bathroom off of the kitchen. It doesn't count as off the kitchen. Uh, yes, it's in the it mudroom. does. No, it's mudroom. not in the mud. There's in no the mudroom, mudroom here. What are it you is. kidding That's me? That's a mudroom. Mudroom? No. Kitchen. Look at this. Look, they almost touch. And look at this. If I stretch out, I can basically grab the eggs and the toilet paper at the same time. I, I don't understand why you'd need the eggs and the toilet paper at the same time. It's because I'm flexible. It is clear that they need four bedrooms. And if they are going to get it, it's going to be for me. Because based on that house, there's no way to do it. It doesn't really matter how much money they have. They only have this much house. What could get in the way of a crushing defeat? A low budget. And that's about it. What is the must-have list to go? Move in ready. Four good-sized bedrooms, three full bathrooms, open concept main floor, a large kitchen, rec space for the kids, and dedicated office all in the same neighborhood. I think I can work with that. I've done an evaluation on your house, and current value is 138000 That's about right. OK. What is the budget for the new four-bedroom house? 175000 All right. I think I can work with that in this neighborhood. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Obviously, you have my list, so yes, what do. would you like from me? Add a bedroom for my mom, expand my kids' bedrooms, update all three bathrooms, update the kitchen, create a kids' space, a dedicated office space. I must have that. Replace all the carpeting. What's my budget? $35,000, Hillary. OK, we have to have a bit of a reality check here. You do have a list that honestly can't be done for $35,000. You see that, Mom? Things are off the list already. You, honestly, all I ask is that you keep an open mind. I can do that. Keeping LaShawn in her overflowing house will take making the most of every square inch available, a task Hillary's team is already embracing as they rip the dated carpet out of every corner and begin framing up an expanded seating option in the kitchen. And while the first steps of progress are made on the home front, right around the corner, David is stepping out on a journey of his own. Here we are. Not too far from your house. Right, yeah. Right? It's good. Yes. Yeah. It's got a garage. But right. I don't have a car. It's good that it has a garage. It's a bonus. It's I a like bonus. to throw out bonuses. Yeah. OK, mm -hmm. I like your bonus so far. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go see the house. At 2,200 square feet, this house is definitely roomier than their current home and features four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. 
emphasizing the extra elbow room are an open concept living, dining room, and kitchen combination, a dedicated laundry room, and an office, all backing onto a large yard just steps away from their current house. What do you think? So oh, far, yeah, so good. Them in, yeah. yeah. So far, you're doing a good job. All right, well, we've just walked in, so I'm glad you're already complimenting me. That's really nice. <laughs> This is the dedicated office. Okay. I like this. This is a good size. And after you, let's go see some more. Okay. okay. We're building. That's a good thing. So we move into your living room, dining room, kitchen combination. I don't know. It looks a little awkward. Are you happy with your current kitchen? No, we need more space. Overall, how does it stack up for you? It's not exactly what I was hoping for. Well, the only thing that we requested that's not here is the teen space, but it does check off all of the other boxes. What do you think this house is listed at? 230. What do you think? Mm, 215. This house is listed at 205. Still over budget. You guys do need a lot. I mean, you start getting into big houses and big numbers come along with those big houses. With the green light given to transform the former dining room into a private bedroom for Lola, Hammer starts swinging to add privacy and storage. Meanwhile, the two-piece bathroom around the corner gets destroyed to make room for Lola's full bathroom and new laundry setup. While Hillary's team continues to move forward at home, 20 minutes away, David is hoping all his latest listing brings can make up for the drive it takes to get there. What do you think? Thank you. This house must be fabulous, because I had to get on the freeway to get here. The budget you have and the kind of house you want are I'm having a hard time with. Are we still in Durham? Yes. It may be outside their neighborhood, but at 2,600 square feet, it's undeniably larger than their house and features four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. Upping the family-sized function are a laundry room, an office, and a finished basement, complete with a much-needed bonus space for the kids. So here you have your front entrance. Okay. <laughs> and so where is the front closet? It's actually just up the top of the stairs and to the left. You're good with this entrance? Good. We're yes. Good. We're heading right that. this way. OK. Let's keep them in the middle. This is your family room. It's a big room. Good. It doesn't meet the fabulous criteria for the drive, but it's, a, it's an OK room. So your kitchen. That's not, not enough room for, you know, for preparation. Is your kitchen getting any bigger? Why would we move to get a kitchen that's the same size or less counter space? Because of the other options that this house has that yours doesn't. Well, you have to show more. I got lots more. And here you have the backyard. It's, it's a decent backyard. And I was kind of looking space. for the... <gasps> I know you are. I know you are. Instead, I got... Wow. <sighs> <laughs> Bedroom number one on this upper level. Right next door, there is an identical bedroom. This bedroom is in a while. I'm still waiting on the while. This house is listed at 190000 The biggest problem is the distance and the fact that I think we'll have to put some money into the house to get it to where we need it to be. Right. If we plunk this house in your neighborhood, would you buy it? You have to be move-in ready. Are you willing to spend a little more money? Maybe 185 for a done house. Possibly a 190, not more than that. We're moving on. Okay. Okay. LaShawn's discomfort over her ever-shrinking main floor has forced Hillary to take a closer look at the possibility of expanding the kids' bedrooms upstairs. This is Lana's bedroom. The only thing I can do for her is to take that wall that is Jamal's equal size closet on the other side of that wall. That is space that I can pick up. Now, I'll tell you how I'm compensating for that in oh, Jamal's bedroom. Yeah, because that's what I was just going to say. I've got this little shallow linen closet, right? right? I can take that space, I can close up this doorway, and I can come out all the way to here, and this will now be the entry into his bedroom. Behind this wall, we have that sort of L-shaped walk-in closet for LaShawn's master bedroom, right? Yes. Well, I'm thinking of taking that space and opening up Jamal's bedroom, utilizing the walk-in closet in the master bedroom. However... No closet in the master bedroom. I know. Well, we have an empty corner over there adjacent to the bathroom. What if we put a small closet in the corner over there? Oh, 
I had a thought. I don't like those. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. What about if you just demolish that whole wall into the master? Now, you do take that empty wall, you do incorporate a closet into it. What if we open it up, put a spiral, yeah. a spiral staircase going downstairs? Come on, hell. Exactly. The point is, there really isn't a good solution right. here. Put on the charm and go talk to them. David is attempting to turn his slightly more flexible parameters into house hunting success. You've got your main floor powder room. It's nice. We have a downstairs yeah. bathroom, so. Yeah. I guess I was wrong. Um, yeah. I'm having to I spend mean, that much and more. And to, and to do the renovations. Care. To do the renovations. That's way too much. As the final details go in downstairs, LaShawn's new office space is coming together upstairs. And as every last ounce of function is squeezed into this house, there's no denying things are looking good for Hillary. But she's not the only one feeling lighter, because not far away, David thinks he's finally found the perfect combination of all the ingredients it will take to make Lola relocate. That is the house we're going to look at. Oh, it looks like you did really good this time, David. At 2,500 square feet, this move-in ready house is a definite improvement on their own, allowing for four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. Making every day run smoother are an open concept main floor, a laundry space, and a finished basement with a bonus room for the kids, all backing onto a spacious yard blocks away from their current house. Oh, wow. Nice. This house is moving ready. You will not have to lift a finger unless you don't like the color of the paint. OK. All right, this house is listed at 205. Yes, it's a little over budget, but think about how much your kids will use that teen space. Oh, yeah, they would love that. Yeah. And what is that worth? You're right. You're right. We're done here. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Okay, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. Come on in. Oh, All wow. the way in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wasn't expecting any of this. You all right? You're not going to faint or anything, are you? Tell me about these floors. Where the, are they? The floors are actually made of vinyl. Far as you can tell, it's wood. It's so and now I want you in the lead because we're going to go and look at your functional and fabulous bedroom. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is oh, beautiful. Wow. It feels completely self contained. It it's does. your own little space. I was expecting you to do awesome. But this is beyond my expectation. All right, now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she needs this to lean on the wall. This is not my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This would be the gathering spot, nevertheless, in the kitchen. Now, let's talk about the kitchen, because that really I is. I love this color. Oh, good. I mean, I don't know what you would have done with more money. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think this is amazing. Wow. All right, so now we've got one more surprise for you on this floor, so here we go. OK. You needed your own bathroom. Oh, yeah. In you go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. This. Yeah, just oh, kind of tucked away. Shower. Look at that shower. Look at that shower. <laughs> There's a little curtain here. Yes, don't want to oh. look at our washer dryer if we don't have to. I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. And now you can open your eyes. Oh, wow. Wow. So oh, we needed so to nice. create an office space for you. Oh, my goodness. It had to be in this area. That's the only space I had. I like this. And here is your bedroom. This is amazing. It is. I cannot imagine how I could sleep and work in the same space. Well, and the great thing is, you have the benefit of all of the space, access to the bathroom, and you have this beautiful big area as your bedroom. This house, I think, will now work. You're making a great case for that, Hillary. The pre-renovation value of their home was $138,000. With a renovation budget of $35,000, the new estimated value of their home is $200,000. That increases the value of their house by $62,000. You guys talk about it and decide which house you think makes more sense for your family. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We've decided to list it. Fantastic. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I'll fix that, OK? I'll take care of that. Sorry about that. You maximize every inch. 
yeah, of this yeah. house. It's just that I do think we need uh, space for the kids. I totally understand. So listen, it was a pleasure working with you. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. A lot of fun.